in the previous video we saw how to install apricot in this video I'm gonna show you step by step how to run uh, one of the example tests here which is explained in tutorial in our case we have already installed apricot which we can call by apricot it lists all the subcommands that can be used and uh, in our example shell script we are going to go one by one through it another is to clone apricot which we have already done which is right here so the main main thing that we need right now is run script which we can get by wkit or as shown in the previous video you can just copy it from the apricot repository but i'm going to use it wkit for here now we have it right here for convenience sake i have opened the run script here um, you can get the explanation for all these codes uh, all these lines in the shell script in the tutorial however i'm going to explain you uh, what they stand for so the first one is apricot call how you're going to call apricot because we have globally installed it we can just call it by apricot however you can also define the path when you have locally installed it or you can even choose with python which python version to use analysis path where are you going to save your input and output data where is your apricot folder in my case i've just given the repository name that we have uh, cloned here um, apricot library inside the repository root db path is our source file meaning all the dependency that uh, we need for running this example um, I'm not going to use this for the example, so I'm going to skip it for the moment. Also, I'm not going to use the Zenodo data because we have our own small data set in the library here, which is in the demo file small. And in the run script, we are going to copy this file to our respective folders. So we're going to uh, go ahead. Database path, these are the fixed file, fixed folders, uh, which is reference db path. Then we have for CDD and interpro, all these path defined. There are two input that we are going to use in this analysis. One is query IDs. Uh, these are two salmonella proteins. One is HFQ protein and another is ALAS protein. HFQ protein has SM-like domain which is um, very close to also RRM domain and ALAS has tRNA ligase it's it does not have RRM KH or uh, any prominent uh, canonical RNA binding domains so in our case we are going to take two keywords for selection of domain which are RRM and KH which is present in the first protein but not in the second protein therefore if the domains are selected by these two terms they will consider this as proteins which are negative for our study there's another input which is optional it's called classification keyword uh, this is particularly helpful when you're dealing with thousands of proteins so that you can divide your protein into smaller subclasses but in this case since we are dealing with only two protein we don't really require this going further down what you look at are different functions to call different subcommands. The first one is to set up analysis folder. So if you would like to run uh, the subcommand on the command line, which I have defined up here for the analysis path, what you can do is basically, so I'm gonna clear this thing so you can see it clearly. So you call apricot, you call the first subcommand which is create, if we just look at it, what do we need in here? Our analysis path. That's our positional argument. So let's run it. Create, uh, here it is, and apricot analysis. So it created a folder called apricot analysis right here. However, in our run script, we have streamlined all our command. So first is to set up analysis folder using create. Then comes getting the small demonstration file 
that we get from our repository provide input query which is basically using the subcommand query then comes providing domain and classification keyword using subcommand keywords select domains by keyword subcommand select run domain prediction using subcommand predict filter domain analysis subcommand filter classify filtered result using subcommand classify create analysis summary using subcommand summary format output using some subcommand format so we can directly run this script and see what happens So first of all, uh, it runs properly. It didn't break, so it's good news that uh, at least we have our software package installed properly. So let's go one by one. Here, the first thing was to create the analysis folder that we saw. So it creates analysis folder, which would look something like this. You have analysis folder. Inside analysis folder, you have input and output and respective files. This I'll explain you in the next video, how we can just quickly go through how the run script work. The second is giving query ID by the subcommand query. And then it downloads the information from Uniprod, saves it in a table. It extracts XML and fastified as well. Using the keyword subcommand, we gave RRM and KH as input and within that we used these terms as the classification keyword. Using these two keywords, AppRecord looks up for the domain from both CDD and Interpro and saves the domain of our interest. In the prediction from CDD and Interpro, um, for both the proteins, the analysis is carried out and the domains are predicted. Further, by using the domain selected by these two terms, a filtering, steps takes a filtering step takes place where only those proteins are selected that contains domain of our interest. So what you see here, only one protein, which is HFQ, contains of domain of our interest. This can be classified and summarized. One can change the format to HTML or XLSX. So this is uh, what Transcript uh, does. You can run your own example and see if this works for you. In the next video, I'm going to explain you each file, what you're going to look at it, and so on. Thank you.